and welcome back to The Average. I'm Steph on The Average Artist. Welcome. If you're new here, I draw a lot of stuff. This is my new favourite art supply. It is, if you don't know, uh, a fountain pen. It's iridescent because, you know, I gotta, I gotta shine. Um, <laughs> don't know. I have different inks for it. I haven't used yet because I'm waiting for this blue to run out. But I've got Midnight Blue, Ruby Red and Pearl Black. Just so you know, I'm stocked up. I've been drawing a lot with it and it's been really nice. <laughs> don't look at this crazy um, mochi cat. Just works nicely with alcohol markers so you can draw with it and then just use alcohol markers which is great for me because i just i'm so lazy that i don't even want to do line work well here's a little peppy drawing that's pesto for those of you who don't know pesto so what i like to do is just draw because i've obviously been drawing a lot of cats recently and yeah you could say that's kind of my my deal i like cats i'm just going to straight in draw with my fountain pen and this may be a little warm-up drawing we don't know it might turn out good and now the fountain pen is showing me up because it's not actually letting me go there we go you have to break in fountain pens sometimes i feel i'm just gonna quickly draw pesto because what i've done is i've taken a lot of uh, reference photos of my own cats and then i've just basically decided that i'm gonna draw them like in these positions because they're super cute the oh my god that is <laughs> hunchback cat hunchback cat where are you gonna be with your hunchback world yeah that didn't turn out good but whatever fine i really like the roughness of it and i feel like with this pen if you just keep drawing it kind of comes out okay um sometimes sometimes it doesn't case in point but yeah i've, I've made this um into a sticker and it should be arriving soon i really like the way it turned out but anyway back to hunchback cat <laughs> uh maybe we can just like ignore that line because that is not good and we can make a flower of this even though it's a bad tangent we can just pretend so she's lying on the duvet here so maybe we can just make it like she's lying on a bed because why not be guys because she's so cute i think i'm i have issues with opened eyes okay it's kind of cute it's kind of cute but yeah i really like the idea of making a sticker sheet now because i've never done that before which is Sounds weird to say because you'd think it would be some considering I have a lot of stickers, uh, something that I would done, but I've just never. I'm like that's five times the work. Why would I do that? <laughs> then I think it would be nice to have like a sticker of a sticker sheet of different things. I think it's quite sweet, like the collection kind of idea of it. I got accepted into Thought Bubble this year, so I'm definitely going to be there in November. And I've just been watching like a lot of people how they do their. Uh, convention like booths and stuff and I was just lots of people have like um, sticker sheets and I just think they look so nice on the table like together um, so I'm thinking I want to do that if it's possible but I'm also working on the comics and I've decided that I'm gonna make the comic just one comic first because I was like oh I'll do two like I did last time but I think what I'll do is I'll do the one comic picture this and then I'll do the other one afterwards so that way I have like some content or a comic to share with you guys first. I think it will take all the time if I don't do it that way. If that makes sense, do you think that that's good? Um, in case you don't know, I'm doing two comics. And the first one, um, I mocked up really roughly. Let's zoom out so you can see this. Really roughly um, all the thumbnails. So I've got like the thumbnails here. And then what I did is I blew up the thumbnails and I printed them out and I made this little booklet just to see like how it would feel but I'm thinking I might want to make it to be like Emily is burning uh which is this size just because I think if I'm releasing one I think I like this size the other two comics that I have are this size so I, I was going to do two again I think they don't have enough in common to sort of tie together apart from being me so I think it'd be nice to have another Emily is burning size and then you can have two of these two of this size yeah sorry I'm just a like, complete tangent there but yeah if you want these comics by the way they are available on my Etsy just saying along with lots of stickers and stuff <laughs> nice so I really like the fountain pen because you can get like different weight levels like I said it works well with alcohol markers which I have an abundance of I feel like this stuff works well with kind of a limited um color palette though so these are all very similar i would like one two maybe this is like orange for pesto but let's check it yeah it's a little bit brown maybe this pink pink 
like that might be quite cute for her let's go for it um so obviously i went over her eye uh, i've got this muji is it muji it is not muji but it's super opaque if this is the one that works yeah see this one works there we go and you just you can just cover up your mistakes which is super nice so let's just do like a sort of purple bed around her i like i i i, I think what i'm going to do is do draw some flowers around her as well Okay, so maybe it's looking a little bit weird with the um, her lying on the bed, but I kind of like the idea of it like it's imaginary um, and she's lying on the bed, but it's actually like flowers are on the bed as well, <laughs> if that makes sense. I do enjoy this fountain pen because I feel like you can just quickly jot down ideas and I like the smoothness of it. I can just quickly get what I want to draw down. Okay, uh, let's get some shadows going as well. Can I help you with something or can you get out of here? He's like, why not join me? We're in a second, Kubi, okay? Calm down. Just calm yourself. Add a little bit of depth to this drawing, you know, here and there. Could do, could do. There we go. And that is the first drawing done of this spread because I'm planning to draw more. I think Kuba was letting himself be known that he wanted to be drawn. <laughs> so let's draw him to the trusty old. By the way, this is called a uh, Kawiko Collections fountain pen. And I got it in uh, Brighton Town where I, ah, where I live. And uh, yeah, so I don't know if you can get it on Amazon or anything, but I'll check. I'll check, you know, got to get that affiliate link in there somehow for the whole you know one cent that i make from it <laughs> started out because i was talking with that joke that this kubo image might be like really really weird but here we go he's so cute I really like the idea of uh, keeping the same sort of colour scheme for each drawing so then they look cute together on the page but also like if I wanted to turn any of these into stickers as a collection maybe I could but I don't think I do at the moment I think it's just kind of warm-up drawings right now but I do like them there we go and now we're ready to colour Kubi in Kuba is a Siamese, so this isn't really fitting his colour scheme, but I think it will look cute. So going back over the alcohol markers with the fountain pen is quite nice because it kind of bleeds a lot. It's still like, it's not wet, but it's wet for the ink, but it, I quite like the look it gives of just like this softer line which can be quite nice to just experiment with yeah i added some green to pesto's drawing what of it um i found this green and it looks really nice just having a, another green uh yeah so this is kubi's um i'm not really liking his color scheme like that he's pink but i'm not really sure what to do about it maybe we can add some color i i thought it would look cute but i'm not sure about it now uh, i think that's looking worse now I'm not sure doesn't matter because we're just having fun not putting any pressure um okay let's do some flowers i think i made it uglier with adding that brown but meh yeah i like the drawing but not his colors so i don't know what to do about that maybe we can eh we'll just leave it for now lesson learned you know okay now it's time to draw a little mochi should i like loosen my line quality of it because I think it might be nice but we'll see I don't want it that looks we're just doing quick little drawings but she always has like this look of disdain on her face so I've got to emulate that I 
kind of find it very hard to like capture mochi. Why? This, this line works a mess, but it's okay because we can cover it up with alcohol markers. And sometimes uh, it can look good. <laughs> the mess can work. I really like that kind of janky style some people have. Like the line work is just like really loose. So maybe this could work. Let's just like lean into the messy. The pour is like slightly longer. I think this is looking quite cute, even though it's super messy. I think it's sweet. There, I said it. And now I'm gonna look for some flowers to draw on Pinterest. Maybe some strawberries. That'd be kind of sweet, wouldn't it? Some strawberries with a little mulch. Let's do some big leaves as well. It's kind of cute. I I know it's like looking super weird and messy, but I'm really liking the scratchiness of it. I don't know. It's almost like this little cat is just lying down in a strawberry bush and is like, "This is my home. <laughs> I live here." <laughs> Okay, so learning from Kubo's colour scheme, I think that maybe those colours are a bit too crazy. But then I've drawn Mochi before and I liked her colour scheme here. I'm trying to figure out what that one was. A grey and a pink, I think. A grey and a pink. There we go. I think it's kind of cute. Maybe that pink is too dark nicer. I wish I'd used this one now. Okay, it's all a learning experience process, so, you know, can I use the same pink for the strawberries? Cute. I like this messy one. I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think <laughs> so far? I think it's just, I don't know. I like it. It speaks to me. I think probably because the line is so loose um, that I just like the way it looks, I think. Yeah, I'm enjoying that style. Some shadows. What do you guys think? I really like it. I think that is definitely my favourite one so far, even though it looks super crazy. Um, yeah, um, I really like these drawings. I just wish that Kuba was a different colour, so I think I might paint over him. And then we can just change his colour, maybe? I don't know. Mistakes were made. I actually kind of like that. It looks like a little ghost cat, which is kind of cute. Little ghost cat hanging out in the in the flowers there. I don't know. I'm liking him looking like that. Even though obviously I don't want Kuro to be a ghost, because uh, yeah, don't even want to talk about that. But could be cute. This little guy being a ghost. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of liking my little ghost cat here. Might keep that. Might keep going with the ghost cat esque feeling. So Kubi has turned into Ghost Cat, but I think it's really cute. I like it a lot and I like these three drawings. I hope that you guys like it too and you enjoyed watching me draw with my, still don't know what the name is, Kewiko? Kewiko pen that is iridescent, which I really like these days. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye!